Hello sports fans and welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Golden Score Show right here on Non-Fuel Flicks, your home of black entertainment. My name is Adelani Ogurinade and these are some of the stories to expect on tonight's show. Well, before I give you the stories to expect, you just have to wait a little bit. I'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Golden Score Show right here on Non-Fuel Flicks. Now, let's have a look at the stories making headlines this evening. James Harden suffers injury setback. Stephen Curry hits historic 49 points. Malian-born footballer runs from California to New York. Bayern Munich one point away from title. All six Premier League teams withdraw from Super League. Chelsea draw to go fourth. Ed Woodward to stand down in 2021. Ryan Mason named head coach of Tottenham. On the rumor mill section, Mourinho to Celtic. Barcelona make Sergio Aguero offer. Now let's look deeper into these headlines. Starting with our first story coming from the NBA. James Harden suffers injury setback. James Harden initially suffered a strained hamstring in a game against the Houston Rockets on the 31st of March. He missed two games and then returned for an April 5th battle against the New York Knicks. He aggravated the injury then and has been out since, though the initial prognosis suggested he'd be out only 7 to 10 days. Now, the Nets have revealed that Harden suffered a setback on Tuesday and is out indefinitely. We wish him a speedy recovery. Moving on to our next story, Stephen Curry hits historic 49 points. Golden State Warriors coach Steve Kerr describes Stephen Curry as just amazing to watch after he extended his scoring streak. Curry hit 49 points as a side beat the Philadelphia 76ers 107-96. It was the 11th game in a row the 33-year-old has scored 30 points or more. Curry's total included 10 three-pointers, five of them in the final quarter against the Eastern Conference leaders. It is the 21st time in his career he has hit 10 or more three-pointers in a single game and leaves him as the favorites for this season's NBA Most Valuable Player Award. It would definitely be deserved. Now, this is a story that would make you all laugh. It definitely made me laugh. Malian-born footballer runs from California to New York. Hela Sadibe, a 30-year-old Mali-born former professional footballer, is about halfway through a run from California to New York, about 3,200 miles in total, and a feat only about 300 people are thought to have achieved. Wow, that is amazing. Most of you that run know how difficult just running 100 meters is. Now this guy is doing, what, 3,200 miles. <laughs> well, hmm, good luck to him with that. Now, moving on to another story now. This is coming from European football in Germany. Bayern Munich one point away from title. Bayern Munich need just one point from their remaining four league games to claim a ninth successive Bundesliga title after a comfortable victory against Bayer Leverkusen. Former Stoke forward Maxin Moten opened the scoring when he volleyed home after Thomas Muller's shot rebounded into his path. Midfielder Joshua Kimmich made it 2-0 when he drove into the bottom corner. Bayern are now 10 points clear of RB Leipzig, who lost 2-1 at Cologne. Now, moving on to the story, making all the headlines in the world of football, all six Premier League teams withdraw from Super League. 
All six Premier League teams involved in the European Super League have now withdrawn from the competition. Manchester City were the first club to pull out after Chelsea had signalled their intent to, to do so by preparing documentation to withdraw. The other four sides, Arsenal, Liverpool, Manchester United and Tottenham, have all now followed suit. The Super League said it would reconsider the most appropriate steps to reshape the project. Now let's have a look at what happened in the English Premier League last night. Chelsea draw to go forth. Chelsea shared a goalless draw with Brighton last night. The Blues created little, but a point was enough to see Thomas Tuchel's side take up the last of those Champions League spots, going above London rivals West Ham, who they face on Saturday. Staying in English Premier League, Ed Woodward to stand down in 2021. Manchester United Executive Vice Chairman Ed Woodward will step down from his role at the end of 2021. The announcement came before Manchester United, along with other five Premier League sides involved in the proposed European Super League, withdrew from the competition. The planned breakaway league has received widespread condemnation. The 49-year-old joined United in 2005 and has been in his current role since 2012. He was set to leave at the end of the year, but the decision to announce his departure has been brought forward. Now to some news that would amuse you. Ryan Mason named head coach of Tottenham. Ryan Mason says he feels immense pride to be interim head coach of Tottenham until the end of the season after Jose Mourinho's sacking. Former midfielder Mason, who retired from playing in 2018 after suffering a fractured skull, has been working with the club's academy. He took first team training on Monday following Mourinho's departure. The new Spurs boss is only 29 years old. Wow. Gives me a hope that I could definitely uh, coach a big team now. You know, I mustn't be scared. It's not by age, you know. That is funny. Now, let's look at the rumor mill today. Mourinho to Celtic. Could this be possible? Jose Mourinho, who was sacked as Tottenham Hotspur boss just Monday is in the running to be named the next Celtic manager. According to reports, Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy feared as many as 10 players would quit in the summer if he did not sack Mourinho. Levy was most worried about England's Harry Kane, Dele Alli, as well as forward Gareth Bale on loan from Real Madrid, all leaving. Uh, what is it about this guy, Jose Mourinho, really? And um, if he joins Celtic, I think, um, well, he will bring some pedigree to Celtic. But Celtic is at a stage that they need fresh ideas. They're second to Rangers and they're about to lose the title. And they need a really good coach. I'm not sure Jose Mourinho has what it takes right now to lead Celtic uh, to European glory. But... Um, Let's see what happens. We will keep you posted as this story unfolds. Now, in our next rumor mill, Barcelona makes Sergio Aguero offer. Barcelona have offered Manchester City strikers Sergio Aguero a two-year deal. The Argentine forward is available on a free transfer when his contract at the Etihad Stadium expires in the summer. In 272 appearances, Aguero has scored 181 goals for Manchester City. In 97 appearances for Argentina, he's managed to score 41 goals. I think it would be an amazing investment for Barcelona, really, if they could secure his services. What do you guys think? Well, leave it in the comments section below. Let us know what you think about Manchester City possibly selling Sergio Aguero to Barcelona. Will that be a good deal or not so good deal? A two-year deal seems fair enough. After the break, 
we'll be speaking to the likes of Mr. Emmanuel Akura that would also be speaking to us via the telephone, telling us what he thinks about Mourinho sacking, telling us what he thinks about the English Premier League tonight, telling us what he thinks about the latest stories in the NBA and much more. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Golden Score Show. Now let's speak to Emmanuel Akurada. Emmanuel Akurada will be joining us from Parts Unknown and he will be telling us what he thinks about um, Mourinho sacking the English Premier League games tonight and also the rumour mill also. We're going to get him to speak about the rumour mill and he's also going to talk about the latest happening in the NBA. Emmanuel Kurada, take it away. Thank you so much, Adelani. Um, there are a few things I would like to touch on quickly. Uh, first, I would like to talk about the issue of Jose Mourinho being fired as Tottenham head coach. Um, I, I won't say this is a surprise because I saw this coming. Um, we've complained a lot of times about Mourinho's and his um, man management skill. We saw that happen to him at Chelsea the first time in charge of Chelsea. When he came back to Chelsea again, we saw that again. When he went to Real Madrid, also we saw how he fought with the players. And it seems this guy is not learning. He's not learning anything. And he's, um, he's not willing to change who he is because at the end of the day, the same thing that is getting him fired in various clubs, it continues. And um, Tottenham players, the, the management came out rather to say that uh, they were scared of the players leaving the club as a result of Jose Mourinho being in charge. So they decided to part ways with him and, um, you know, just um, make sure that um, the players continue to stay, especially the likes of uh, Harry Kane. Adela, and moving to uh, my predictions of for tonight as the Spurs versus uh, Southampton, you know, um, most, most times when we see a coach fired at the club side, most players will want to step up their game and prove to the, uh, the coach that he was wrong in dropping them. And we don't know the formation Real Mason is going to use for sports, but I see sports be winning this one just for the players to prove a point to Jose Mourinho. Staying in Premier League, in the other game that is taking place tonight, we have uh, Aston Villa versus uh, Manchester City. That's another tough one. Aston Villa are doing, um, doing very well lately. Last season, they struggled, they escaped by God's mercy, you know. And um, uh, this season, they made sure that uh, they step up their game and they're, they're not fighting to uh, escape relegation. So I see this game being a tight one. I will go with Manchester City 2-1 because um, it's going to be a very, very, very tough game. And, uh, staying with that team, Manchester City, talking about their legend, Sergio Aguero. This guy has been with Manchester City for a long time now, you know, became the highest goal scorer in the Manchester City side. I won a lot of trophies. And What can you say about this guy, man? You can't help but talk about the goal that becomes um, a national anthem to a lot of football fans. That is a goal against QPR, a goal that he scored. That goal, <laughs> until this day, I still have goosebumps each time I talk about that goal because that goal was a goal that uh, gave Manchester City the league in the dying minutes when they needed that goal most. And Aguero um, stepped out in that um, in that match. So he is a great player. Going to Barcelona, the speculation is that uh, Barcelona are going to offer him a, a two years contract. Well, at the age of 32, I think this guy still has a lot to prove. Um, and if they indeed sign him, playing alongside his, um, his uh, friend, Lionel Messi, that's going to be a very good combination. And I, I think, to me, that decision will be justified. And I'm moving to the NBA, Adelani. There's a, a sad news coming out that um, uh, Hardy will be, will be out for a while now, you know. Uh, because he's injured. The playoffs are set to begin in less than a month, and with had a known out, Brooklyn chances at securing home court advantage in the Eastern Conference seems to have uh, evaporated. The Nets trade the Philadelphia 76ers by one game in the standing and lead the Milwaukee Bucks by three games. However, they will play the Bucks twice before the end of the season. If the Bucks win both, they will secure the uh, tiebreaker thanks to head-to-head -head victories. The Nets are now in serious danger of slipping to number three in the Eastern Conference and having to start series against both the Bucks and the 76ers.
I don't know, and he's staying in the NBA. Another exciting news, and it's not coming from nobody else but that guy, Steph Curry. Uh, this guy is, this guy continues to create history and make more history for generations to come to cherish. You know, he finished with forty nine points tonight in a win. It was his fifth forty point game in April. That passes Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan for the most forty point games in a month by a player age thirty three or older. Well, trust Emmanuel Akura Ada to give us incredible analysis. Ooh. I enjoyed what he had to say about Steph Curry and what he had to say about Mourinho's sacking. Well, we surely do hope his English Premier League um, predictions are right tonight. And also what he had to say about the rumor mill. At least he agrees with me that Sergio Aguero is going to make an incredible acquisition for Barcelona. So that wraps up yet another exciting episode of the Golden Score Show right here on Non-Fuel Flicks, your home of black entertainment. Join us again on Friday for the very latest in the world of sports. From me, Adelani Ogurinade, enjoy the rest of your day.